Hello everyone! In this video, we will explore the new Forum Manager feature of the Cost Calculator Builder. The Forum Manager is an advanced feature with an impressive Forum Builder within the Cost Calculator Builder plugin. It allows you to create custom forms that users must fill out when placing an order. This feature helps gather necessary information through various input fields that can be customized and displayed dynamically. Cost Calculator Forum Manager has several advantages over the Contact Forum 7 plugin. Firstly, Forum Manager offers a no-code drag-and-drop Forum Builder with 11 different types of fields. No coding skills are required. Secondly, with the customizable email template feature, you will receive beautiful emails from the cost calculator when each order is submitted. To access the forum manager inside of any calculator, follow the individual settings and turn on the order form. After filling in the required detail, select the cost calculator as a forum provider and then press this button. In the Open a tab, let's take a look at the user interface of the Forum Manager. On the left side, there is a Forum Builder, and on the right sidebar, you will see the list of available forums to choose from for the current calculator. Select the forum and just click on the Apply button to use this forum as the order form for the current calculator. Click on the plus button to create a new order form. Use the pencil icon next to the forum title to rename it. If you make any changes to the existing form, you must update it by clicking the Update button. Use the three vertical dots to access the options to delete or duplicate the form. Use the drag and drop functionality to change the order of the fields. Once you hover over the fields, you will see the special buttons to delete and duplicate the field, along with the indicator of the field's width. You can also resize the fields using the right and left edges of them. Now let's explore the different fields and their settings. As I mentioned earlier, there are 11 available fields to build the order forms. On the right sidebar, you will find the settings for the selected field which vary depending on the field. Write the label for the field and provide a placeholder for it. In addition to the previous method to change the width of the form, you can also adjust it here. The form's total width is divided into 12 equal parts, and you can select the field widths relative to these divisions. The available options range from call 4 to call 12. For instance, call 12 represents the full width, while call 6 represents half width, and so on. In the settings for any field, you will find a small toggle button marked with an asterisk. This button allows you to make the field required, ensuring that users cannot submit the form without completing it. Now we are exploring the name field, which is designed to collect the user's full or first name. Let's look at the email field. The email field captures the user's email address, which is crucial for ongoing communication, such as sending confirmation messages, follow-ups, or promotional offers. The email confirmation setting adds an additional email field to ensure that both email and rights match. If this option is enabled, you will get one more setting, the position. This allows you to adjust the placement of the two email fields, either right or bottom. You cannot create an order form without an email field, as it is the primary means of communication. If you add multiple email fields, you can change the primary mean of communication to one of them. Next, the phone field allows users to input their contact numbers. It is useful for businesses or services that need to reach customers quickly, such as for appointments, follow-ups, or providing support via phone calls. The input text box field is a versatile input for collecting brief pieces of information such as a first name, city, or title. It is helpful when only a small amount of data is needed in a response to a specific question. So there is only one new setting which is a character limit. It specifies the maximum number of characters a user can enter in the field. The text area provides a larger, multi-line input space for users to provide more detailed information such as feedback, comments, or descriptions. It is useful for collecting longer responses that go beyond the limitations of a single-line text field. The number field is specifically designed for entering numeric values. It is useful when collecting data like quantities, pricing, or any other numeric information that is relevant to the form's purpose. And here are the selection fields that let you choose one or multiple options from a set of predefined choices. The drop-down presents users with a list of options to choose from, making it perfect for selecting specific category, product, or service. Just write down the labels for the options here. Use the drag and drop functionality to reorder the options and the X button to remove them. 
The radio field allows users to select one option from multiple choices, ensuring they can only choose a single, mutually exclusive answer. This field is ideal for binary choices or questions where only one response is needed, such as selecting a gender or yes-no questions. There are horizontal and vertical styles for it. The checkbox field enables users to select multiple options from a list, offering flexibility when more than one choice can apply, such as selecting interests, features, or preferences. Formatted text field provides a static text block for including instructions or additional information on the form. It helps guide users to clarify the purpose of certain fields without requiring them to input data. Just provide your text using the WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get editor. The last space field adds visual spacing between form elements. This helps improve the layout and readability of the form, ensuring that fields are neatly organized and easy to navigate. After customizing the form, do not forget to click the Update button and save the calculator. These fields together provide a comprehensive toolkit for building forms that collect a wide range of information from users in an intuitive and user-friendly way. Once an order is submitted, you will receive an email to the address that you specified in the order form settings. In the customer info section, you can see the response of a user to the form. Later, you can find this information on the orders page as well. That's all for this video. I hope you will smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.